to avoid hot water, the DOJ instructed the IRS not to question Joe Biden's grandchildren in the Hunter investigation. IRS informants testified in front of Congress that a Justice Department representative advised against interviewing President Biden's grandkids as part of the federal investigation against Hunter Biden in order to avoid getting in hot water. The House Ways and Means Committee released the transcripts of two IRS whistleblowers' interviews on Thursday. The two argue that decisions made by DOJ, FBI, and IRS officials during the investigation appeared to be influenced by politics. Testimony of IRS Criminal Supervisory Special Agent Gary Shapley Jr., who oversaw the investigation, and an unnamed IRS special agent who claims to have opened the initial probe alleges investigators were told not to interview President Biden's grandchildren. Investigators said interviewing the grandchildren would have been customary under normal circumstances because some of the payments Hunter Biden made that they were investigating involved his children, including a $30,000 tuition payment to Columbia University. According to the whistleblowers, Hunter Biden was fraudulently claiming such amounts as business write-offs on his tax returns, thus they wanted to speak to the grandchildren involved as part of their probe. But Assistant U.S. Attorney Leslie Wolf told the investigators in a meeting it would get us into a lot of hot water if we interview the president's grandchildren. I don't remember what ultimately happened with the grandchildren. I know I have never interviewed them, and we have not interviewed them, he said. The unnamed whistleblower said that his supervisor suggested documenting meetings between IRS and officials in U.S. Attorney David Weiss' office, who were running point on the probe. My supervisor felt it necessary when some of the inappropriate comments that were being made, to start documenting them," the whistleblower said. There were a lot of times to where they would discuss the election or discuss politics, and I had to say, on multiple occasions, that I felt that it was inappropriate that they were saying it," he said. The whistleblower described other investigators referencing individuals surrounding the matter as to how they were related to President Biden. For example, Joe Biden's brother, James Biden. James Biden, we would call him the uncle. So that's how we referred to him, as the uncle, the whistleblower stated. At another point, the whistleblower said Venmo transactions were paid to family and friends of Hunter Biden that were deducted on his returns. So I continually asked, can I go and interview them? And can we understand what these payments were for? If they made other payments? and politics. Clark also said that, a, ny verifiable words or actions of my client in the midst of a horrible addiction are solely his own and have no connection to anyone in his family. An extensive, five-year-long investigation conducted by the United States Department of Justice, DOJ, concluded this week, which resulted in my client taking responsibility for two instances of misdemeanor failure to file tax payments as well as a firearm charge, which will be subject to a pretrial diversion agreement. As his attorney through this entire matter, I can say that any suggestion the investigation was not thorough, or cut corners, or cut my client any slack, is preposterous and deeply irresponsible," he added. Politics. Clark also said that, a, ny verifiable words or actions of my client in the midst of a horrible addiction are solely his own and have no connection to anyone in his family. An extensive, five-year-long investigation conducted by the United States Department of Justice, DOJ, concluded this week, which resulted in my client taking responsibility for two instances of misdemeanor failure to file tax payments, as well as a firearm charge, which will be subject to a pretrial diversion agreement. As his attorney through this entire matter, I can say that any suggestion the investigation was not thorough, or cut corners, or cut my client any slack, is preposterous and deeply irresponsible," he added.